they say you can't put a price on peace. But I say you most certainly can if you're living in a magnanimous duplex penthouse facing this open ocean right in front of the East Coast coming onto the market for 12 odd million dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I give you Silver Sea. Silver Sea was built by Far East Organization, completed in 2014 with a tenure of 99 years from 2007. It sits on 20,293 square meters of land and is built up to 61,700 square meters. With a plot ratio of 3 including bonus, it houses 383 units in 4 blocks across 21 stories. Want to know about facilities? Here's the site map to illustrate the full range. My personal favourite is the two tennis courts, gymnasium and the 50 meter lapping pool. Welcome to the unit guys. So because this is a big house, let's go to the floor plan first because I want to give you a better grasp of the layout. So this is one of 12 penthouses. Unit number is 2003. The unit size is 4,596 square feet with four bedrooms, three bathrooms and two powder rooms. So coming into the private lift, then there's the lift lobby and you have dual access from here to the left is the service yard, to the right is the living room which takes you into the balcony, dining room and then yet another balcony, powder room and right across there you have the dry and wet kitchen, store, home shelter, WC, yard and two rooms with connecting bathroom which is bath 3 on level 1. So we're starting from the lift lobby over here, you're coming straight out, you will be faced with two entrances, one on the left, this gives you access to the service lift and the other entrance to the rear which I'll show you in a bit, but we're going right into the unit, directly into this humongous living room over here. And the ceiling just bursts into a 5 meter high ceiling. You can see you've got all that space because you've got the extra volume going up and this living room is really humongous for you to set in you know, wonderful huge furniture like this so you can host all your guests and really enjoy all this magnanimous space. Then we're going into this balcony. And I tell you, you will not be able to get enough of this balcony because you're facing directly out into the East Coast Park. It's all just a lovely shade of green across another shade of turquoise which is basically the open sea. You've got white ships going along, you've got cargo liners going across which is beautiful. Clear blue sky right above you. Tell me what better view you get than this man. Let's go inside. I want to show you the dining space. So right to the left of the living room is this humongous dining space again and you know you don't call this a penthouse for no reason unless you can host like 10 seaters easily in this dining space again with that glorious view of the wide ocean over here and it's simply fantastic. I'm going to show you where you probably prepare your meals. Coming through the hallway, you are greeted with this lovely dry kitchen over here which extends into the wet kitchen. I'll just show you, you have a beautiful countertop. This is marble, overhanging stainless steel fixtures over here for you to put all your plates and your nice ornaments if you like. You've got a sink over here and then you've got appliances like the coffee maker, diagonal appliances like the oven, microwave oven. You've got a wine chiller over there, carpentry. Carpentry going again, diagonal fridge. This is a commercial grade. Diagonal commercial fridge. Then we're going into, this is the wet kitchen. So you've got a sliding door, see-through with a, this stainless steel handle over here that disappears into the wall. So it keeps the space very clean. Then you've got an open view over here. Right across you, you've got powder room and an open balcony. So then the refuse is inside right across you. You've got all the necessary open flames and again, a professional oven for you. This is a super professional commercial grade hood over here for massive cooking. So let's look what is inside over here. You have a storage space, WC, which is the maid's bath. And this is one of the most important parts of the home is the laundry area. You've got this Orlen indoor drying system. It drops down, it gives you heat, dry your clothes. 
And then this is the door that leads you to the front and also the access lift over here. So in case you're wondering where your furniture delivery guys are going to come out from, your contractor is going to come out from, they're not going to use your private lift, are they? They're probably using this access lift. So you've also got a home shelter down here for storage. Let's check out the balcony. So this isn't an open view balcony. These are collapsible, foldable doors that collapse and open up. Then you've got a lovely decking planted right in front of me. What's your view? So right beneath us, you have the swimming club and it's an open swimming complex. You can see the lapping pool over there and then you've got uh, a nice play area. So basically, this is a very lovely recreational facility that if you want to use, it's just right beside you. If you look far beyond you in the end over there, there's construction going on. So that's Amber Park. Amber Park comes online 2024, 2023 plus minus. This thing is going to push up the overall PSF of the whole vicinity. Now let's go inside. By now, you must be dying to see the rooms. I'll show you two lovely rooms. Just before that, check out the powder room. So here to the end, we have two good sized rooms. We're going into this one first. And you'll see immediately you'll be greeted by khaki parquet lining the flooring. And then they've got these bay windows, but they've nicely cladded them with light shade marble tiles that really give you that classy look. Then you're overlooking the roundabout over here and all these are other condos which are fairly new so I would say the facade is very beautiful and this room is 13 odd square meters so that's a very good size for a common bedroom then both bedrooms here will share this bathroom which is basically a Jack and Jill entrance so if you come on in you'll see that it's a lovely granite finishing going across the walls and then you have you know a lovely sink going over here with a full mirror it's very very beautiful and the dual doors open up into this other room over here. So if you have kids, the siblings are gonna be really tight because you know, they share one bathroom. And this is approximately 17 square meters in livable space itself. You've got the lovely wardrobes going over here and it's a metallic shade. Check out the insides. You have uh, sensor lights going. It's very, very pretty. So what greets you in this stairway over here is a very beautiful timber on cast iron floating stairs. It's black, brown, and then you've got a lot of open spaces over here that let in the natural light, which is the full glass panels to the rear. You're stepping up onto the family room with a powder room attached. Then to the left is bedroom two and bathroom two. Then you have two roof terraces and a study, and of course, the huge master and master bathroom. So if you've been enjoying this home tour so far, then kindly smash that like button and consider subscribing to our channel because we really appreciate your support and the subscription is a bit lower. Now let's go upstairs where I want to show you the massive open terrace. So straight up here, you got the family room, but I want to go inside this bedroom over here first, which we have set up as a study. You got a very, very good size. The ceiling height is very nice and comfortable. You're quite far away from your next neighbor. So basically this will be a very, very good office for you. Then right beside you, there is a open bathroom currently divided by glass. You got marble going over here, which is very lovely. Check it out. Flooring is all marble as well. And let me show you the connection to the open roof terrace. So you're coming up onto the sky terrace. There's a big open sky over here. I assume you will use this for a lot of hanging outs because you've got sink over here. This will probably act as, you know, wash area if you're gonna do barbecuing on this open roof terrace. That's an electrical point right over here. I will assume that you're gonna put your barbecue over here. You've got a nice seating area. This is just for maintenance access. This, my friends, are the real access into the family area, back into marble. So you'll notice that we have uh, blinds running all across here. So this is actually the shade that give you privacy. Then you have this lovely spot, which is again another balcony spot. And I really appreciate this uh, location because you have a pocket view right across the green all the way. Uh, this is the ECP running up all the way into the city and that's District 1. In a far, you can basically see Marina 1. I don't know if you can see, it's really far. Then right in front of you, you have all this green and it's definitely a nice spot. It overlooks the open balcony just right below. Very nice and sociable space. Now let's go into this room over here. 
And this is another hangout area that we've created, but on the floor plan, you will see that this is the study. So let's go into the room that you have been waiting for. Welcome to the master. Check it out. The master has this glorious size and a crazy sea view. So you've got all this space for an armchair. You can really put a reading corner right over here while you're just basically having a book in your hand and the missus may likely be laying on that bed. You have a sofa right over there. So you can really set this up to you know, your preference in terms of customization. There is a beautiful walk-in wardrobe. Let me show you. Right over here, you got sliding door. This whole thing is transparent with film that kind of gives you a little bit of privacy. Then you've got racks over here. So all your luxury goods and items, apparels are gonna go here for storage. Then you have this a bathroom over here and it closes up by a sliding door and opaque film which is nice for privacy they've done the same over here to give you natural light coming through and you've got blinds for privacy then we're going into a standing shower this is dual standing showers over here against the wall you will see this stone featured walls which is very very rustic and beautiful they've done granite floorings to make sure it's non-slip and then of course it must be complete with his and her vanity sinks fully cladded with lovely marble now which penthouse is complete without a designer long bath facing the seafront the view is amazing all right now let's talk about the investment angle of this asset Silver Sea sits in the fourth most affordable project amidst a comparison of 12 nearby comparable projects. If you pay attention to the bar graph, you will notice that Hague 162 to Amber Sky all sit within a tight range of 1500 PSF to 1800 PSF and they all TOP'd within the year 2013 to 2017. So from a TOP perspective of 2020 onwards, Ember 45 and Ember Park and even Coastline shoot up into 2,200 PSF to 2,500 PSF average range. So from here, you can see the trend. The land cost is proportionately increasing across time. So you can see that the newer launches that are gonna come online like Ember Park and Coastline in 2023 and 2022 have aggregated a rise in PSF and this is going to generally bring the whole Upper East Coast and East Coast District's property prices to climb and add to the fact that there are going to be future on blocks that are going to drive price further up this is going to create a very big value proposition for such a home of this profile, size and scarcity when people want to buy seafront penthouses just like this Alright, so let's go into a brief understanding of the area. Silver Sea sits in the corner of Marine Parade Road at the iconic roundabout. So if you're familiar with Katong and Jujiet and you've been to I Want To Shopping Mall, then you definitely remember this lovely condo sitting at the end of the roundabout that leads to the Amber section of District 15. So the planning area is Marine Parade and is home to a population of 26,870 residents. The East Coast has been a crowd favourite because of its proximity to Katong and Juche for the food, reputable schools and coastal living and convenience get about the island. So if this feels like your next home, then smash that like button and give us a call. I'm Nick Tan, Selling Singapore and we'll be happy to show you the place. I'll see you soon.